And ladies and gentlemen, here we are back again with a little bit of algebra. We are in chapter one, section one, evaluating algebraic expressions. Make sure you've titled your notes, evaluating, bleh, evaluating algebraic expressions. So an algebraic expression may contain numbers, operations, and or variables. Okay. If you want to evaluate an algebraic expression, you substitute the given value for the variable. So pretty simple here. So here we have x equals 8. We are evaluating the expression, so we're going to plug in 8 for x here. So we have 4 minus 8, the absolute value of that, plus 2. 4 minus 8, this is a grouping symbol, so that has to happen first, is negative 4. The absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 plus 2 is 6. Right here we have the square root of 2 times x, so we're going to plug in 8 again. Didn't do this over here, but anytime you replace a variable with a value, put it in parentheses. So put it in parentheses, that way this is not 28, it's 2 times 8. 2x means 2 times x. So 2 times 8 is 16. Minus 3, the square root of 16 is 4. Minus 3 is 1. All right, evaluating expressions with two variables. So we have x is negative 3 and y is 4. So we'll plug in negative 3. Remember, when you replace a variable with a value, put it in parentheses minus 3, plus 3 times 4. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 12 is 6. Here we have x plus y, so negative 3 plus 4 over, and here's why this is important, to have the parentheses 3 squared. Remember, the exponent applies only to what's directly in front of it. So it doesn't apply to just the 3, it applies to the entire negative 3. So negative 3 plus 4, the, this division bar, fraction bar, is a grouping symbol. So we have to do what's on one side and what's the on the other side before we do the division. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. So we get one ninth. All right, evaluating expressions. Here we got a is two thirds. All right, two times nine times two thirds squared minus two times nine plus three times negative four. All right, first thing we have to do here is in the parentheses, we go from left to right, and we have to do the exponents inside there. Now if you square or apply an exponent to a fraction, you apply it to both the top and the bottom. So both numerator and denominator get squared. 9 times 4 over 9 minus 2 times 9 plus 3 times negative 4. All right, we can multiply all of these because they're divided by an addition or subtraction symbol. 9 and 9 cancel out. We're left with 4 here. 2 times 9 is 18, and that is negative. 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. We have to go left to right. 4 minus 18 is negative 14 minus 27. Negative 14 minus 27 is negative 41 times 2 is negative 82. Here, similar situation. 9 right there, replace three different values, 3 times 2 thirds, plus 
2 times negative 4. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 and 3 cancel out, so we're left with 2. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. 3 minus 2, we've got to go left to right, is 1 minus 18 is negative 17. All right. You want to tile a 10-foot square floor with tiles that are twice as long as they are wide. Determine how many tiles you need to cover the floor when each tile length is 2 feet. Let's start with the easiest part here. Of the square floor, 10-foot square floor would be 10 by 10. And that gives us 100 square feet. Okay, now... The number of tiles, and we'll call that n, is those 100 square feet divided by the area of each tile. So the area of a tile. Um, now the area of a tile is, we have a rectangle. So the area of a tile is length times width, where we know that they are twice as long as they are wide. So L is either 2 times W, the length is 2 times the width, or if we want to solve this the other way around and replace W, then I could divide by 2 here and say that W is half of L. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use substitution here. And for the W, I'm going to substitute what I know about the W. So I see the area of a tile is length times length over 2. Now we're going to substitute this in here. So N is equal to 100 over the length times the length divided by 2. And we were given the length, and that is 2 feet. So we have 100 over 2 times 2 over 2, which is 2 over 2, simplifies down to 1. 1 over 1, 2 times 1 is 2, so 100 over 2, or 50. So you would need 50 of these tiles. All right, non-standard operations. So we know our operations plus, minus, multiply, divide, but we can also and we can define a variable like x equals two in the same way we can define a non-standard operation by using a combination of operations. So, for example, I could say this right here is a non-standard operation. Uh, this is not our symbol for anything that. We use plus, minus, divide. So I'll just call it square dot. Okay? So square dot means that the first number will be multiplied by 4 and then divided by the second number. Okay? So if I have 4 square dot 2, then that would be first number times 4. And that's supposed to be a 4. There we go over the second number. And then I could evaluate this, say 4 times 4 is 16, over 2 is 8. All right, so there's a non-standard operation. It's defined first, and then we do that operation. So here we have, we want to evaluate these expressions. So we have a non-standard operation here, circle dot. All right, circle dot means 2 times the first number plus the second number. All right, so circle dot means two times that first number plus the second number. Two times two is four, plus four is eight. All right, here we have circle dot and another circle dot. Let's do the parentheses first and leave this one out here so we don't get too confused. Two times three plus the second number, 5. And then let's leave this circle dot operation out here. 
2 times 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11. Circle dot, 2. Now, first number gets multiplied by 2, so 2 times 11 plus the second number. 2 times 11 is 22, plus 2 is 24. All right, now we're combining circle dot and circle plus, or circle cross, whatever you want to call it. Um, circle dot tells me 2 times 3 plus 5 in parentheses, and I'll leave the circle cross until I've evaluated the parentheses. That's 6 plus 5 is 11. And now circle cross tells me I take the first number times 2 and divide it by the second number. So first number times 2 divided by the second number. The 2's cancel out. I get 11. All right. And that is all for today, folks. That was Chapter 1, Section 1, Evaluating Algebraic Expressions. Check back in for more lessons.